Okay, so I did a recording as I was driving along in the snow and the snow drifts and uh, what we call a relatively flat field. And the roll is kind of like from minus four to plus four, that sort of thing. Uh, you can see the GPS value is the from, of course, the GPS. The gyro is from the IMU and the roll is from the dogs to inclinometer. Up at the top is the speed, of course, and, the, and then the corrected GPS heading or the actual final heading and then the one beside that is a pure pursuit steer angle and you'll see it go offline because it's pushing through snow and stuff but uh, it's kind of an ideal field to test this because it's really rough and the yellow bar graph there at the bottom left that is the inclinometer value um, not the steering angle and you can see how it's all over the place but uh, I actually raised the filter on it so that it's it's more filtered and that seemed to work better than being faster but faster is it almost made it worse at the wrong time maybe in the future here i'll have to compare where the inclinometer is versus what the gps position timing is because they're not at the same time the inclinometer is of course real time but the gps isn't there's a 20 to 50 millisecond delay on it but i don't know what that is but anyway, it works quite well. This has got the, the hill tilt, implement tilt killer compensation on it. So uh, that seems to work good. There's no effect when it's level. But on this field, plus and minus three or four, it works pretty good. It sticks on that line really, really well. Like I say, even in the snow. So, cool.